Hi, Serious Views here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 13. And it's been a while since last episode. I haven't really done much. I have a bunch of Ascension power, but I just want Infinity to endorse me. I'm going to export just in case the endorsement is going to make me lose my Ascension power. It actually does not, so that, that's actually that's pretty nice. And I, I think it's been a while since I've done one of these resets. I think all I should do is just get these perks going and then just exchange them out and then hopefully I'll be essentially back up to where I was. I mean, maybe not as much to an endorsement, but still a decent amount. You can probably also get this upgrade, which is Stadium Challenge Completions Boost Perks will make them last longer. So, it's pretty good. I can even get this. Ascension Power and Dark Flow have Synergy. Ascension Power? Oh yeah, of course, this. So, if those have synergy, that, that must be pretty nice. So, yeah, that'll definitely boost things. And then, start infinities with dark circles unlocked. It's pretty good. And then, infinity 2 and 3, 2, 3, 3, 2 are stronger based on pathogens. This is just knowledge and time cubes synergize with one another. Knowledge and cadavers synergize with one another. So, this is definitely... Yeah, it's powerful. It se seems powerful, at the very least. I only have 24 dark cores, though. Maybe I just need more ascension upgrades and all that. I, maybe we could try to get more, some enlightenments. I can I can now get quite a bit more ascension power every second. Probably, I think I should try to just get every one of these. And that that's an achievement right there. Too bright. Um, where, where is it? It's this one. Purchase one of each endorsement. Gain 100% of rocket gain every second. Okay. Or enlightenment, not endorsement. This is a magnitude of E32 for every rank bot. Gain 100% of cadaver gain every second. Is there something like this? This is without any pathogen upgrades. I could try to go for that. And then without any dark cores. So. But the thing is that this episode, I wasn't really going to go for any of that. I was going to go for stadium challenges so i'm just gonna do them in order i'm gonna do space on um which is you cannot gain rockets it's difficulty level one whatever that means maybe there's multiple completions of it and i need eight e a hundred universes and it looks like i just got it so um there we go i think that's i i can do that i it seems like it doesn't even acknowledge of completed a stadium challenge. I don't know what it even means. I, I'll, just, I'll, I'll complete it again, but... Oh, yeah. Complete the stadium challenge instead of exit. It, that's what I did. Um, so, that's another achievement. Stronger than a high god. Complete one stadium challenge. So, it's pretty good. It's gonna make Infinity 1-1 one, one stronger based on rockets. This is ranks and tiers boost time speed. That's really gonna help. Let's see how yeah, E4100 universes, so that's pretty good. And with the pathogen upgrades, I have E32. I remember having more than that. I have E2390 time cubes, E1951 rockets, and I could just max this just in case it gets me some obscure achievement. Um, this is still only every three seconds somehow. And, I mean, I feel like it... Should be a little bit better than that, but whatever. This is 1e18 knowledge. It's going to be the fifth pathogen upgrades boost itself. Is that just the this one? The boost pathogen gain one? I'm not sure, but I something will be boosted. So, yeah, it's probably yeah, it is th this one. The boost pathogen gain one. So now I have E40 pathogens. So, yeah, I probably should just do the next stadium challenge, which is Solaris... E365 universes, um, super scaled, rank scaling starts later based on cadavers. That's the goal. So, it looks like I'm about to complete it. It's going to be, yeah, it's not that hard. And this is um, going to be, yeah, super scaled, rank scaling starts 15 ranks later, which means now there's hyper ranks because if you look at the scaling, here, there's scaled, super scaled, and hyper. So, yeah, and then there's this. So, oh, it's 
interesting. You can only do it um, if you do a stadium challenge. The difficulty um, gets harder. So now it's you cannot gain cadaver scale rocket fuel scaling starts instantly. So and then this one is you cannot rank or tier up. Maximum velocity is raised to the power of 0 0.1, and rocket fuel does nothing, and I somehow need E-480 universes. I'm not even close. I can only get, like, a few tens of thousands of kilometers, so maybe instead I should just get some perks going. I can't quite get all four at once. I really want to get all four at once. Maybe I should try to get... These all do an 80% increase. So, I still think this one's the strongest out of all of them. But the Cadaver effect, soft capping later, is also pretty good. Um, I'm not really sure what I should try to do. Maybe, maybe I'll, just get, I'll just get these going. So I can hopefully... I can actually get another endorsement here. So, there, there we go. That's, that's going to help things. Maybe I can get more knowledge. I need... 5e19 here and um, e20 here, so it's, it's a little ways away. Maybe it should try to, yeah. Each challenge completion makes the others harder, with the exception of reality, which actually gets easier. So they're all difficulty level three. Maybe I should try to focus on other stuff. So again, I'm not really sure. I mean, I could try some of the others just to see. This is time speed does nothing. Um, Dark Flow is always zero times. Pathogen upgrades are 90% weaker. Nope. And there's... All research gained before infinity is raised to the power of 0 0.1. Time speed is nothing. And maximum velocity is raised to the power of 0 0.1. I need only three light years for this, but it still doesn't really look like it's possible at this point. Look, look at this. I'm literally getting... I'm literally doing one meter per second. So... Yeah, and then there's this much... Passenger upgrades do nothing. Time speed is raised to the power of zero one. Scales rank scaling interior scaling starts instantly. And yeah, I, I thought I was not going to get anywhere with that. So maybe I'm not exactly sure what to do. I remember I had 67 dark cores before. And now it's just super scaled. So I mean, that's annoying. I should probably just keep getting these ascension perks and all that. Because I'm. I'm pretty close to having the 150% strength. And maybe that allows me to get all four perks at once. I can also get this, which gives me an achievement. Um, which is purchase two of each enlightenment. So maybe what I should try to do, I should try to... Um, I know there's some sort of automation for the Catters. I think it's in the Infinity Upgrades. Which would be a pain. Yeah, Auto Pathogen Upgrades. So this means I, I'm going to reset... Um, infinity upgrades because I want to get this achievement. Um, reach E390 universe universes without pathogen upgrades. Maybe I shouldn't go for that. Actually, if the, the reward is so weak that I'm not even going to go for it right now. Instead, I'm going to go for some stadium stuff. So maybe instead I should go for a different completion. Like this one, like you can see the each challenge complete, it changes its. Um, it's very interesting. Like the challenge is getting harder, so maybe I should try to get. I'm not really sure what's all that good. Maybe I should try to get something like this is a pathogen upgrade one. I'll get this. Pathogen upgrades do nothing, and speed is raised to power of 0 0.1. I need E16 universes in this challenge, and I'm looks like I'm yeah boom complete this stadium challenge. And then maybe do something else like that is really good. Like super scale. Like maybe I can get this one. You cannot gain cadavers. Scale. Rocket fuel scaling starts instantly. Hopefully this is possible. It doesn't look very promising. Um, yeah, this isn't very promising. Can't really get anywhere with this. I mean, instead I can just get this upgrade. Cannot gain rockets, and time speed is raised to the power of 0 0.1. Is this one possible? Hopefully it is. I'm not sure if it is. No, this doesn't look promising at all. O only 100 million kilometers. 
Maybe, maybe I can get this infinity one here. Again, no. Just, I'm just gonna check through, go through all the challenges. Nope. And reality, uh, no. It doesn't look like I can get anything other than the um, Drigana's challenge. Which means I can get more pathogen upgrades, but won't really do much for me. Like, even like the peak strength of, of this. I actually I can get another endorsement from Infinity here, so it's pretty nice to get. Maybe I should try to go for the next endorsement, perhaps, because the next set of Infinity upgrades happens at endorsement 21. I'm at endorsement 18. So I'm actually pretty close. I'm just not really sure what I should try to go for. And this is very interesting. It's the first part of the game where there's some real strategy involved, and it's very complicated with the whole each challenge completion makes the others harder. Like, that's pretty unique. Like, maybe... I'm, again, I'm really, I'm really not sure what I should do. Maybe I should, I should just reset stadium completions or something. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Um, I'll lose all my stadium completions, but then I can go for some other challenge, like Infinity here. And this one's so hard, I can't even do it normally. What about Eternity? Anything? No. Reality? Can do this? Uh, probably not. So it looks like it's only the the space on challenge, Solaris challenge, and the Drigenes challenge. I can actually complete at this point. So, like perhaps if I alternate these completions, I can be able to get more universes. Like as I maybe I can get like more cadavers out of out of have these two challenge completions and then get more pathogen upgrades out of this one. I mean that definitely is a viable strategy I could try to use. So like if I reset standard completions, go back to the Driggins challenge and then complete that, maybe I can get more universes than I ever got before. Why not? I'm really not sure what I should try to do at this point because I I don't I don't know. Maybe I should just get more en enlightenment or yeah like not enlightenment so like the knowledge and infinity upgrades. And also I don't really think I need I'm really need the more endorsements and it's interesting just to see how the stadium challenges are going. I could try to reset infinity upgrades. But I don't really want to do that. Um, there's nothing I can really do to speed up the game at this point. It's, it's because, I mean, maybe there is something that I'm missing. But I think I'm just going to want the next knowledge upgrade. Like this. Before any other boosts, knowledge gain is raised the power of 1.25. That's actually really good. It's going to allow me to get Dark Flow is increased by 20% for every Dark Core. Which hopefully means that I'm going to be getting more rockets, time cubes, and all that. So, the next one is E21. Scale tier healing is weaker based on challenge completion. Maybe I'll just do, maybe we'll get these upgrades next episode. Because it, it looks like I'll be able to get all of these upgrades. And just, if I wait a couple hours, I'll be able to get all of them. And let's see how OP that is. So, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.